Good morning, everybody. Certain inventions and inventors we just know, the electric light bulb and Thomas Edison, for example. But how about the television? Anybody come to mind? Well, it was on this date, September 7, in 1927, that Philo Farnsworth demonstrated the first all-electronic TV broadcast. So here's Mr. Marconi. Many people credit him with inventing the radio. There were lots of players in that story, but by the time of Philo's birth, radio was pretty popular. So here's Philo Farnsworth. He was born in 1906 in rural Idaho. He knew a lot about farming and equipment. He loved to tinker with electronics. He was taking stuff apart, putting it back together. Had real aptitude for that. And uh, farm was a great place to work on that. And here's an old Delco generator. Delco made starters for cars way back in the olden days. And this is the kind of thing Philo would take apart and put back together. So in chemistry class, he came up with the idea of electronic TV. And this drawing, which he gave to his teacher, later became part of the lawsuits he had with RCA over who invented television. So radio is very popular in the early 1900s. Lots of radio clubs all over the place. And the major player was RCA. Now RCA had come out of what was known as the Marconi Wireless Telegraph Company. And by the time of our story, it was the dominant radio communications company in the United States. And they are going to get involved in TV also. So here's the National Radio Institute's ad encouraging people to learn radio. And Philo did this, and he got a certificate from this organization when he was 19. So he was really good at this. So here's an electromechanical television. It's basically a series of spinning disks that produce an image. Not so great. Philo's idea was to use electronic rays through a tube. It's kind of complicated, but it was on this date, September 7, 1927, that his image dissector camera tube transmitted its first image. It was of his wife. And that technology got better and better, and it was this kind of camera that was used in the 1936 Olympics in Berlin, uh, pictured here to show around the world what was going on. So meanwhile, RCA is really putting the heat on Philo. They have their own people working on TV, and they're going to go to court over and over again about who has the patent for television. Now, when we went to the moon in the late 1960s, at kind of the end of the process, NASA said, well, we better have a camera. So they made a camera. It had the electric uh, electricity of one Christmas tree light bulb. Turns out that's what everybody wanted, was to see pictures. So here you see the astronaut with the camera. That camera was a lot like the one Philo had cooked up. And supposedly, when he saw this, he turned to his wife and said, well, dear, I guess it was worth it, the TV camera. He carried on with his life. He worked on odds and ends, like a fog penetrating beam for ships and airplanes. The litigation with RCA finally ended in 1939. Now, 1957... He was on the program, I've Got a Secret, in which the mystery guest tries to stump the panel. He did. Nobody knew who he was, who the inventor of TV was. And for appearing on the show and stumping the panel, he got $80 and a carton of Winston's. Boy, that's another era. There was a statue of Philo in Statuary Hall in Washington, D.C. It's now been moved to Utah, where he died. Utah put a different statue there. Uh, Philo did get his own stamp in 1983, of course, one of our great inventors. And there's a statue of him outside of the Letterman Digital Arts Center in San Francisco. This is where Industrial Light and Magic and Lucasfilms uh, have their headquarters. So that's pretty fitting. Now, believe it or not, he actually foresaw a flat screen TV. Not digital, but flat, and uh, he was kind of right. So think of that. 
the next time you're watching that great thing on television.